Did you know that the longest suspension bridge in the world is? It's 6,532 feet. That's 1.2 miles. And this bridge is not that bridge. to visit a bridge. Not the Akashi in Kobe, Japan. We are in Omaha to visit Bob the Bridge. Its official name is the Bob Carey Suspension Bridge. However, everybody just calls him Bob. Bob has his own social media accounts, YouTube and Instagram. Hey, I'm Bob. I'm a bridge. You know what? I am a handsome bridge. The Golden Gate? Yeah, she digs me. It happens on Bob. Now, before we get into some fun facts about suspension bridges, let's take a walk on Bob. Bob is 3,000 feet long and is made of concrete and steel. Bob is 15 feet wide. The towers are 210 feet tall. And they light up. And it's 60 feet above the Missouri River, where people and pigeons can enjoy the view. One thing that people do when they come here is called bobbing. That's where they stand in the middle of the bridge with one foot in Iowa and the other foot in Nebraska. That way, you're in two places at the same time. Now, we're going to finish our walk across Bob. And afterward, we'll head into some fun facts about suspension bridges. And when you get to the other side of the bridge in Iowa, this is what awaits you. bridges are built in all kinds of ways, but suspension bridges are like physics magic. Here's how it works. We'll say this is a pedestrian suspension bridge, so let's add a pedestrian. We'll give him arms and a face, and we'll call him Tom. Hi Tom! Tom's very friendly. Tom is taking a walk on our bridge which crosses some, let's see, water. And we'll make that water a very nice blue even though the ocean isn't actually blue, it's green. Now, in this water are a couple of very friendly sharks. And we'll make the sharks green. The sharks are looking up at Tom. Comforting, right? Now, all the potential energy in our bridge is downward gravitational. So let's add some arrows. And we'll take our bridge and Tom into the water to play with the sharks. To make our bridge work, we need to transfer the energy to go up instead of down. So we'll draw some up arrows. Suspension bridges do this by using cables. The cables are attached to the bridge to transfer the energy from down to up. So instead of letting gravity pull the bridge down, the cables are now transferring energy up the cables. This is all well and good, Except that the energy stops at the end of the cables. Suspension bridges connect their cables to towers 
which serve as anchors for the cables. But with all that energy pulling on them in one direction, the towers would probably be pulled inward, making Tom sad, but our two sharks very happy. To prevent this, suspension bridges add cables to the opposite side of the towers, pulling it in equal force the other direction. This prevents the towers from being pulled inward, and so we can erase those pesky arrows. Now that there is equal pressure, or energy, on both sides of the towers, they are not being pulled inwards or outwards, but all the energy, or tension, is going straight down the towers and transferred into big cement foundations that are grounded into the seabed, which is definitely strong enough to keep our bridge safe and secure for Tom to finish the walk. And for our happy sharks too. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. verses in the Bible about bridges, although I'm sure they had some. The Bible does talk about what bridges do. When there's one side here, and one side way over here, and then a seemingly impossible place to cross in between them, we build a bridge. It can be like that with people too. Peter 4, 8 says, Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. It may not seem like it, but those are some great bridge building instructions. By the way, this is how you sign bridge in American Sign Language. And just like suspension bridges, love can build bridges in seemingly impossible places. When all the energy on both sides are firmly grounded in love. 